Podcast. My name is Russ the Rock Rockport. I am here with the sultry and amazing Rowan Darkthorn. Woo-hoo! Are you feeling it, baby? I am feeling it. I am here. Let's rock and roll. Are you feeling that thunder and the craziness that is, well, you? let's just say... <laughs> Better be careful what you ask for. You just might get it. This is true. This is very true. What are you talking about, though, in particular? You know what I'm talking about. We Um, asked for you all to send in emails. And that's exactly what you have done. And we want to thank all of our listeners for for sending in their requests and sending in their ideas and suggestions. And we've got so many amazing things that are being sent to us right now. And uh, I can't keep up with it. I asked Rowan to pick a couple emails that she wants to um, talk about. And I think we'll do two, maybe three, maybe two, maybe one. Who knows? It depends on how much time that we're going to put into this tonight. But uh, uh, have you done that, Rowan? I have. I have chosen a couple and one. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how many we do. We're going to call this show Answering Your Emails because you want to know stuff and we're just the two perfect people to actually give it to you. So I will go ahead and let you start off, Rowan. What do you got for us? Uh, The very first one, I love the title of this email and it caught my eye right away. Um... He entitled it, Am I Gay Now? (laughs) Which I thought was hilarious. I had to open it. And it says, Hi, Rock and Rowan. I am a guy. You can call me Can I stop you real quick? I reckon. Did he spell your name correctly? He actually did. You spell it often enough, or I spell it often enough, so I guess he spelled it right. That we say your name correctly on the air because I know I've spelt it many different ways when I first got to know you, and I'm just kind of curious if he's like me or if he actually got it correct. Uh, he got it right, but people spell my name crazy all the time. You should see some of my mail. Yes, but you know what also comes down to the fact that that he is a gentleman, right, or a man, or a, a you know, a, the- he's a dude. A dude. And so there's always nervousness when a dude sends an email because I'm exactly one of those and I know how mine read. (laughs) Well, this one was very interesting to me and I think we can probably help him. So he says, hi, Rock and Rowan. I'm a guy. You can call me Jay. That has found that I want to have my wife put her finger in my ass while she's sucking me off. You all right over there, Rock? Okay. Okay. She surprised me about a month ago and stuck her finger in there. And I came (laughs) immediately and was one of the hardest orgasms I ever had in my life. I hadn't, oh, he says, I hadn't ever had that done before. I'm ashamed that I liked it so much and feel like maybe it was kind of gay. It's not gay. I know that I'm not being politically correct saying that, but I don't know how else to say it. I secretly wanted to do it again, but how do I ask for something like that without her thinking that I want to be with a guy? I'm super confused. What do you think? I, I do think I have an answer for him to help him out with this, Rowan. Oh, do you? What is that? I think that I've got this one for him. So, now, the last time I tried to give some advice on something like this, you beat me up and accused it of cheating. But once again, we have an email that we don't have all the, the information needed to give an accurate answer. What? That seems like a pretty complete email to me. I, I want to know one question. How What's... good is your medical insurance? <laughs> Why? What does medical insurance have to do with this? It's very simple. You don't have to ask your wife if you have good medical insurance to do that for you again. What you do is you go to your doctor and you set up a prostate exam. Oh, my God. That way you can get the finger in the ass as much as you want. You can have as much enjoyment as you want. 
it will be a good thing for you and the doctor's going to get paid more. It's helping out the medical industry and it's helping out you all in one thing. I, I think a lot of guys, though, would be a little concerned if they felt something in their ass and then suddenly both of their doctor's hands were on their shoulders. I mean, I think there'd be a problem with that. But in bed with your wife or girlfriend, I don't know what he says, his wife is his wife. I, you know, you're supposed to be able to talk about that kind of stuff with your with your spouse. And, you know, maybe maybe she was not sure that, you know, you liked it or something, or, you know, I don't know. Uh, what do you think about that? Would you want a finger in your ass, Rock? Uh, me, personally, I really, that doesn't appeal to me in any way, shape, or form. It's never been done to me. Who knows? I, I can't tell you it's something that I'm appealed to. Maybe I'd like it. Maybe I wouldn't. I don't Have know. Have you ever had a prostate exam? I have had a prostate exam. Then someone has stuck something up your but ass. But there was a condom on his finger. So, what difference does that make? Just kept his yes, fingernails clean. I, I had a prostate <laughs> exam. I haven't had one in my adulthood. And I hate to say that on the air because I know now that listeners are sending emails in, they're going to be absolutely slamming me on this, that I haven't done it as an adult, that I haven't had it done as an adult. I know. I hear it all the time. Um, and it's just a matter of me actually needing to get this done. But I did when I was a child because of an injury. When I say child, I was probably about eight years old. I know I didn't like it then, um, but I don't think that I would like it like uh, something that just doesn't appeal to me. But I can tell you this. I have known many guys. Um, and when I say many, it's not too many, but they um, are all into this anal bead thing. Oh, yeah. And love things like that. <clears throat> and <throat> and I'm sure that you're familiar with it. Matter of fact, Quite. I knew a guy that was probably a good 40 years older than me uh, come to work one time and, and talk about how uh, his new girlfriend was really infatuated with that. And uh, she did it. And he said the same thing this gentleman just said, had the most hardest orgasm he's ever had in his life. Yeah. Yeah. And was it a regular thing for him at that point? You know, it was kind of a weird topic. We were uh, we were working at a mill, a sawmill, and there was a big <laughs> fire, and we were all standing around the fire, and he just kind of brought it up. And got so, when's the last time you had something stuck in your ass? Eh, it's been a minute. I don't know. <laughs> no, he was, was he was an interesting <laughs> cat. <laughs> he was. He would just come walking up. So what's your position on anal beads? Ass up, head down? That's pretty much my position on anal beads. <laughs> That's, you know, I don't know. I, I, I'm just saying. I think, I think that um, it is awesome. And I actually have a strap on that has a lovely... Um, kind of a it's a thinner dildo attachment to it that vibrates it's for prostate massage and it is amazing it is very very effective so this is something that you have a lot of experience in yes yes i i for both myself and my partner uh yeah we both we're both into that and who do you think gets more enjoyment out of it that depends on uh, whose ass you're in at the time. You know, I know. <laughs> that's really kind of a hard question to ask, to answer because, you know, uh, he's doing me in the ass and I, I don't know what we both, we both like, like it. And uh, he probably likes it more when he's the giver than, uh, but then when he's the receiver, I don't know. It sounds like he's in a win-win situation all the way around, frankly. You know, I know you well, and my thought and my vision right now of you in that situation is as soon as you tighten that last knot on your strap on and it's secure, the horns come immediately up, the big cheesy grin gets on your face, and then all of a sudden you're like peeling them gloves on and your claws are coming out and you're about as happy as can be. That's my vision. I do enjoy that. That is fun. That is a lot of fun. I'm grinning ear to ear just thinking about it. <laughs> Hence the reason why you and I do not meet in person very often anymore. Oh, you're just a big chicken. 
Scaredy cat. Our, I'm curious what our listeners will think about this topic. I bet you that there are a lot more people out there than you think. Straight people, Jay, no, you're not gay. You're not gay because you like this. Let me just tell you right up front. You're not gay. There's nothing wrong with it. It's great. Ignore Rock. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I don't about. think he's gay. I don't think so. No. You're but trying to paint me with that evil brush that I'm the bad I'm guy. I'm painting you this. with... You just think it should be done in a prostate exam. Well, it has to be. It's not think that it should be. It just, it has to be. I, I've i never heard of a prostate doctor going down your throat to check your prostate. I've never heard of that. That would be difficult um, unless, you know, there are some guys that are just assholes and they open their mouth and nothing but shit comes out. So that could be. It could possibly be. And there's only one other hole down in that area and I don't want to finger up that one. No, you put something else in there. We'll, we'll cover that some other time. But, <clears throat> no, I think it's great. I think it's um, very exciting. Very, it's hot. It's super hot to have. I like the way it feels when I do it with my finger. Because I can control everything. And it's fun. It's fun to do that. It's fun to watch his face when I do that. It's I'm going to leave it at this with you, Jay. And, and I'm going to take a coin out of Rowan's book and I'm going to say this is something that you should talk about and if you don't feel strong enough in your marriage that you can talk to your wife about something like this she's already opened the book on it she's already drifted something past you you liked it I don't think it was an accident so it was obviously something that she was interested to and if you don't feel comfortable enough to share this information with your wife I could say that you might want to start considering how strong that relationship is. I, I don't know. Is- I don't know. I don't think it's necessarily that he's he can't talk to his wife, you know, about things necessarily. I think it's just this one particular act that has him internally confused. Yeah, Not I think it's more on confused. him than her. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's just internally confused as to maybe it's something that, you know, all his life, you know, he's been told, you know, you got to be a man, be manly, you know, anything like that, you know, oh, that's gay, that's gay, you know, you know, you stand how many urinals away from each other? Is there, is there like a rule in the bathroom? It comes down to this, what I will call the golden rule, especially in marriage. What happens in your bedroom stays in your bedroom. You don't need to talk to anybody else about what's going on in your bedroom. That's true. If you're not, who else is going to find out? Who else is going to know? If this is something that you like, more power to <laughs> Now we all know. We all know, Jay. <laughs> we all know. But but it's good. It's good that you're sharing this, Jay. It's a positive step in the right direction. You certainly picked the right platform to share this. Most definitely the <laughs> right platform. This this is very sensitive. <laughs> it's a very sensitive topic. How much you want to bet me his name's really not Jay? I I would say it's probably not, but I think it's funny that he said his name is Jay and he's worried about being gay. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. That struck me as comical. I do not think his name is Jay. I think that is a fantastic uh, way to get some information. I mean, what a what a beautiful way to actually ask a question to get the answer that you want and not have to incriminate yourself. That is what we're here for. Jay, we wish you the best of luck. Hopefully everything works out for you. I strongly re- recommend for you to talk to your wife about this. And, and if it's something you enjoy, it's something you enjoy. What can you do about it? It's something you enjoy. Continue to go through life. I will tell this a million and a half time. I would much rather have people going through life happy than miserable. This is what it takes. It's what it takes. You want to do another one, Ron? Um, no, I think we'll do that one. Leave that one alone for one, uh, one show. We'll do the other one for another show. All right. Sounds good. Well, we are right about that mark. And, uh, once again, we are the Rock and Rowan Risky Business Podcast. I am your host, Russell the Rock Rockport. She is Rowan Darkthorn, and we will see you between the sheets. Stay naughty.
Don't be left out. Hit that subscribe, that follow, that like, ring the bell, whatever it takes to join us in the dark. And you can come sit by me. I have all the cookies. Thank you.